Over the last three years, Mumia Sugar Company has registered losses running into billions of shillings. At the end of last year, the company was facing imminent closure due to a bloated staff, weak governance structure, exaggeration of transport and input costs, as well as inefficiency in the production process. Leaders have agreed on a four-point turnaround strategy for Mumia's sugar company that include appointment of a professional management team, injection of more funds, floating a rights issue to raise 4 billion shillings, and rescheduling of debts the company owes to financial institutions. Lakini wale wakurugenzi wa factory hii pamoja na management mbele ya tutoe ndururu wengine lazima watupatia ile plan ambaye wako nae ya rehabilitate this factory make this factory profitable and successful on behalf of the people of Mumias and on behalf of the people of Kenya. Mumias did not just die. I want you, Mr. President, as you consider bringing more money, you pursue the criminals who stole from Mumiasi. While presenting the one billion shillings check to Mumias Sugar, President Uhuru Kenyatta said the management of the company must formulate new structures that will ensure farmers are given first priority in payments. He called on for an immediate audit of accounts at Mumias on how the 800 million shillings it was allocated in the 2013-2014 fiscal year was utilized. Financial year 2013-2014, to liweka 800 million pesa za serikali zikaingia kwa hii factory. Tunataka kujua hiyo pesa ilienda wapi. Tunataka kujua hiyo pesa ilienda wapi. Na ndipo tuko hapa. All managers who looted from the firm will not go scot free. Lazima wajue ya kwamba hiyo siku ya kufikiria ya kwamba mutamaliza pesa, alafu mkuje museme ongeza pesa. Hiyo imekuisha. Na mukishindwa, jameni mujue ya kwamba wa Kenya ni wengi, nyinyi ni nyumbani mutaenda tu, tutafute wengine mpaka tutapata wale ambao watahakikisha ya kwamba tume achieve objective ambaye tunataka. It however remains to be seen whether Mumia Sugar Company will indeed get back to its feet or taxpayers money will go down the drain. Regina Manyara Gitsa reporting for Channel 1 News Hour.